All right, we're here now, Spencer Lewis for the Sunset Speedway YouTube page. I'm here with current Sunset Speedway Superstock competitor, Mr. Sean Chenoweth. And uh, Sean, a bit of a surprise to have you running with us this season. Pleasant surprise. Uh, what, what made you choose to come and, uh, and spend some time at Sunset in the Superstock? Well, with the Oscar schedule being as open as it is and Flamborough being a bunch of retards, I really don't want to race there. So this was the best fit for us. And I ran here twice last year and I really liked the place. So it would be nice to come get some laps and have some fun. Now you've never shied away from competition. I mean, when you when you were at Flamborough in the late models, I mean, there were a lot of very, very stout drivers. You've won Autumn Colors, you've won Oktoberfest, Grisdale, Triple Crown Champion. Uh, to, to move into the Super Stocks now, where would you, how would you rank or compare the Super Stock class in terms of competition with some of the other fields you've raced against? I'd say the competition in the Super Stocks is better than any field of cars in Ontario. You got so many good cars from different tracks. If you brought them all together, you'd have any car could win out of the top 24. It's a tough, way tougher run to run these cars than it is anything else. Now, I've heard a lot of feedback from, from guys that haven't spent too much time at Sunset that it's a little hard to, to get up to speed here. Have you found it difficult to figure the place out? Yeah, we're not very fast. We're having a tough time. I mean, we'll get it. Last week, we I think we started 16th to finish 6th. This week, we hope to do a little better than that, but uh, we'll just keep trying and keep plugging away. Now, as far as the uh, the Super Late Model goes, uh, not racing tomorrow night in the, in the debut, when do you hope to be out with, uh, with the Super Late Model? We're hoping for the first outing and that to be a core the next or two weeks I guess it is from now we just couldn't get it together in time for this weekend kind of sucks but lack of parts and some other stuff going on it just wasn't going to happen properly so we didn't want to do it so anytime you're not out on the road with the supers you'll be you'll be right here at sunset we're going to try to be here for every sunset race we can make it to that's fantastic well it's awesome to see all these names alongside of the car and, and all the support because I know I mean there's no way anybody can make it to the track without uh, without marketing support so why don't you go ahead and thank some sponsors for us I just got to thank everyone uh, care communication really stepped up big time this year transaxle has been a partner for a few years X West Voider, these guys are all stepping up again for another season. Automotive Truck and Tire has been with me my whole time racing in different various ways. I even drove his car once at Frostfest and won the Frostfest with it. So last year I took him out of Frostfest. So it, but it's good to have this group of people back and we got the same people on the Super Late. It should be a good year. So I mean, uh, a lot of competition as you said. You got a couple more uh, rounds of practice. What are you going to need to do to put this number 89 in victory lane here tonight? I think we just need lap time or like just track time. I mean, the cars, to look at the car and go over it, it's got, there's nothing on it you can't buy or have. It's got everything you're allowed to have. It's the best everything we can get. Flambro, we went and tested and we were two tenths quicker than the whole field on a practice day. Just come up here, different track. I got to learn the track. Well, I'm, I'm sure it, it'll it'll come to you awfully quickly. I'm sure we are, are thrilled to have you here with us uh, this season. Should be a good year in 2012. Thanks so much for the time. Yeah, thanks for your videos.